There are some teams that are now getting ready for the 2023 NFL Draft. I mean, it is what it is. Obviously, my Raiders are getting ready for the draft as well as my Vikings. So, again, it is what it is. And, yes, I'm doing this video from a completely different location, uh, currently in Cancun for my best friend's wedding. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, but also want to bring you the latest Raiders content, draft content, that is. Now, today we're talking about dream draft scenarios for the Las Vegas Raiders. And I think there's a lot of different things that go into this. Number one, uh, okay, so what's going to happen with Derek Carr? I think you are looking at a guy that, you know, uh, if you're being realistic, now we're going to tell you both sides, the, the the dream scenario, but also the realistic. I'll start with realistic because we like to be realistic, but we also like to be dreamy. Eh? Anyway, I think the realistic possibility with Derek Carr and the Raiders, they're going to get at least a second round pick from him. I think that's a very strong possibility. Um, you know, maybe worst case, maybe a third, maybe a fourth, but I do think they can get a good second round pick for him. Uh, I think that there's teams like the Colts that, you know, might just want to get rid of Matt Ryan, might just want to uh, bring in a guy that they might be able to win with for now after they draft their guy there in the first round. So I think Derek Carr makes a lot of sense to teams like the Colts, maybe the Bucks. I don't know. I think there's going to be a lot of things, but, you know, most realistically, I think that the Raiders could get a second round pick for Derek Carr. Okay, that's out of the way. Um, you know, and best case scenario, first round. Obviously, that's that, that goes without saying. One first round, maybe a fifth and a sixth. Maybe the Raiders have to give up some small change or maybe a third or something. But overall, I mean Derek Carr, uh, I think that there are some teams that could be desperate enough to acquire his services for a first-round draft pick. But uh, So for a dream set draft scenario, yes, first-round draft pick for Derek Carr. I would love to see it. Uh, Raiders end up with two first-round draft picks, uh, continue to rebuild this place, uh, and uh, you know, really finally just get to winning, get to winning. Now, after that, after the Derek Carr trade, because we know it's going to be a trade, or at least I hope it's a trade, uh, what happens after that? I think you have to be very realistic in terms of, you know, where you're going to be picking, where things are kind of moving right now. And, you know, I got to be honest, I think that the, uh, the the Raiders are in a good spot. However, I do think that, uh, you know, they got to make sure that they are not reaching for players. But also, I mean, it's tough. I mean, not everybody reaches for players, uh, you know, at certain points. But um, as we uh, uh, pull up the uh, latest draft picks here for you, I just want to make sure that I reiterate the fact that, yes, the Raiders uh, are going to continue to uh, do their thing. Like, I, I really feel like this team is in a position where, uh, you know, they're drafting a certain way, they're doing a certain way to be able to acquire the players that they want, but this is going to be uh, very interesting. So to give you kind of a rundown of, you know, the updated uh, outlook for the 2023 NFL draft order, yes, you've got the Bears who they have the number one pick, you got the Texans at two, okay, fine. You know, Bears, I think that they could, you know, they could trade Justin Fields, doubt it, uh, um, but, and then you got the Texans there, probably going to go get their quarterback in the future. Don't blame him. Happy for him. Hope it all works out. Uh, the Cardinals. You know, the Cardinals are uh, are interesting. I think they can go a lot of different ways. If they, you know, when they bring in the new GM, new head coach, uh, I think that things could get very interesting there. The Colts, going to need a quarterback. They know it. Uh, the CLC Hawks, I think that they're going to stick with Russ if they get the right guy in to be able to help him out. So I think that's definitely a strong possibility. The, I mean, the Lions at six, they could go anywhere, mostly defense, to, to be honest with you, because their offense, they're, offensively, they're stacked. They don't really know, need a whole lot. And then you got the Raiders at pick seven. So for the Dream Jeff scenario for the Raiders, I think obviously Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud falling that far. Yes, I know Will Levis probably uh, will be there at seven, but I think he's a little bit of a reach at seven. Uh, you know, the Richardson kid coming out of Florida. Yes, I understand all that. Uh, all, and we did a top 10 uh, quarterbacks list for the 2023 NFL draft. But I really feel like the dream draft scenario for the Raiders in this spot is CJ Stroud or Bryce Young falling that far. Or they are able to trade up uh, and not for a lot and be able to get back up, get two uh, top five picks potentially, uh, or excuse me, two first round picks, a top five pick, and uh, hopefully get CJ Stroud again. I think most likely he's going to go at two to, uh, or CJ Stroud or Bryce Young, whoever one of those guys are going to go at two to the Texans uh, and then maybe a guy goes to the Colts I doubt it but definitely somebody's going to the uh, or excuse me maybe they go to the, the Cardinals but definitely somebody's going to the Colts so I think the Raiders are in a good position but looking at their dream draft scenarios it's getting a first round draft pick for Derek Carr which again realistically probably a second and then also getting their pick at CJ Stroud as well as Bryce Young I think that you know you and also if you're the Raiders if you want a guy in this draft class go get him and if, but if you think you can you know, get him where you want fine but uh, if you like either one two or both of those guys either one of the two or both of those guys go get them so uh, i think that kind of covers what we could expect for the dream draft scenarios for the las vegas raiders make sure you guys like and subscribe down below leave a like and a comment and it helps people find the show we greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get you guys are all truly awesome we love every single one of you down in the description below you'll find all of our social media platforms so give us a like and a follow there also remember to give us a listen and sub on itunes and finally if you have anything else you'd like us to cover send us an email at the sportsbp at yahoo.com 
or put it in the comment section down below, and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about the dream draft scenarios in the 2023 NFL Draft for the Las Vegas Raiders.